the reason was that uh, um, Beacon Hill Park offers just about such, such an amazing array of different scenes, particularly different times of day. You know, it goes from the grassy areas and forest areas, and the bluffs overlooking the water, right along the water, the sea. It was just, um, you can do literally thousands of paintings from there. And I wanted to demonstrate that. You don't have to go very far to find lots of places to paint. Do you go to the place uh, different times of the year for these paintings or is only one? Oh, absolutely. I go different times of the year, different times of the day, from before the sun comes up until after the sun goes down and uh, through the seasons, yeah, absolutely. And of these paintings here, it's, these are the scenes that I selected to do. I have, I have way more ideas of what I can do there. Earlier I asked you if uh, you do a uh, plein air on the paintings, but you say you don't, right? No, I don't do plein air. It's, um, I'm not an impressionist, I'm a realist painter. Um, I like to plan the paintings out, draw them out fairly meticulously, and then paint it all in one coat, one coat of paint. Start at the top left corner, go crawl down and across the painting and finish at the bottom right corner and sign it. That, and that works for me. The, the, the most important part is the planning, of choosing which slides to use, not slides anymore, but which uh, photos to use, compile the, the painting the way I want to see it, and if anything, I might make some notes. But usually when I go to a scene, take the photographs, I remember it quite well. You know, so I don't have a problem there. <laughs> You have like a photographic memory or something. <sighs> Not really, but uh, my life is so visual that I can remember things that I see and the mood, etc. And then I just depict it on the canvas. Do you change things uh, from the photographs to make the painting a little bit more? Um... <laughs> Absolutely. Once I have the, the photos, that's when I, the design comes into it. A lot of times I can design through the lens and frame it the way I want. No, 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 I'll get this place. I would want to be there at a certain time of the day. I might go two or three times until I get the right lighting that I want. I'll take the photographs, but I always change it. I mean, there are elements you don't want in it, the elements you might add to reinforce the, the design, uh, the mood you might change. Uh, certainly the skies I change around a lot. And, uh, you know. Some of the colors. Uh, Pardon? Some of the colors. Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah. Often, the, sometimes the scene might be very late, very dark. And when you look at the, the photo on the camera, it's pretty well black. Mm -hmm. So then you just have to, I just have to lighten the shadows and bring them up. And then I can play with the colors a little bit. Because the colors get distorted through the, uh, through the lens, particularly in different lighting situations. So I'll just change them back to whatever way I want it. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> My pleasure.